Hi there, and welcome. Today's story is called The Split Cherry Tree. It's a summary of a longer story about a boy who climbs a cherry tree, ruins it, and the punishment he has to receive because of it. You can find the transcript for this story by following a link that is below the video in the description. And if this is your first time watching one of my stories, then check out my video called How to Use Stories to Learn English. This will teach you all of the methods you can use to really study these stories to help them improve your English. All right, let's get started with our story for today. The Split Cherry Tree by Jessie Stewart, a summary. The split cherry tree is set in the hills of rural Kentucky. There are important temporal and socioeconomic components to this story. The setting isn't just the Kentucky hills. It's rural America in the 1930s with the Great Depression looming in the background. Making a living was a difficult proposition for many people, and kids pitched in at home to help with the hard physical labor that was required to run a farm or a homestead. It's crucial to understand that the chores that kids performed at that time were a lot more essential to the family than the modern-day equivalents of taking out the garbage, mowing the lawn, and emptying the dishwasher. Dave's father depends upon him to help the family survive. Dave had climbed a cherry tree that he was not supposed to. His punishment was to help pay a fine. Since he didn't have the money to pay the fine, Professor Herbert says that he can stay after school and work to earn the money to pay the fine. I don't mind staying after school, I say to Professor Herbert, but I'd rather you whip me with a switch and let me go home early. Pa will whip me anyway for getting home two hours late. You're too big to whip, says Professor Herbert, and I have to punish you for climbing up in that cherry tree. You boys knew better than that. The other five boys have paid their dollar each. You have been the only one who has not helped pay for the tree. Can't you borrow a dollar? I can't, I say. I'll have to take the punishment. I wish it would be quicker punishment. I wouldn't mind. So there you have the dilemma at the heart of the story. The school teacher needs to punish the boy. The father depends on the boy to help him with work at home. Unlike his friends, Dave can't pay the dollar fine, so he must accept the punishment. The problem is that he can't be at two places at the same time. The boy is caught in the middle. There must be a resolution. Dave understands the situation fully, so he tries to bargain. You don't know my father, I say to Professor Herbert. He might be called a little old-fashioned. He makes us mind him until we're 21 years old. He believes if you spare the rod, you spoil the child. I'll never be able to make him understand about the cherry tree. I'm the first of my people to go to high school. You must take the punishment, says Professor Herbert. You must stay two hours after school today and two hours after school tomorrow. I'm allowing you 25 cents an hour. That is good money for a high school student. You can sweep the schoolhouse floor, wash the blackboards, and clean windows. I'll pay the dollar for you. When Dave arrives at home and explains the situation, his father, Luster, becomes infuriated. He doesn't have a high opinion of education in general, derisively referring to it as big larnin. Luster decides he will go to school with Dave the next morning and stop the foolishness, saying, a bullet will make a hole in a school teacher same as it will anybody else. Before Luster leaves with his son the next morning, he straps on his gun and holster. Professor Herbert is rightly unsettled by the appearance of Dave's gun-toting father the next morning. Why did you bring that gun, says Professor Herbert to Pa. You see that little hole, says Pa as he picked up the long blue 44 and put his finger at the end of the barrel. A bullet can come out of that hole that will kill a school teacher same as it will any other man. It'll kill a rich man same as a poor man. It will kill a man. But after I come in and saw ya, I know I wouldn't need it. This mall of mine could do you up in a few minutes. After things settle down, Luster accompanies Professor Herbert throughout the school day, attending classes and even eating with the teacher. As the day proceeds, he begrudgingly begins to respect the teacher and the school and its proceedings, realizing the value of the education his son is receiving. 
As the school day draws to a close, Professor Herbert tells Dave to forget about paying off the debt. But Luster steps forward and tells Dave to pay it back. Then Luster says to help Dave complete the work and earn the dollar and pay it off. As the story closes, Luster apologized to his son for his ignorance about the school and impresses upon him how important it is to always pay your debt. So, there you go. Thank you for watching my story. Please leave a comment down below to let me know how you are using my stories to learn English. If you would like to know a little bit more about who I am and what I do, or if you just want to see some of the materials that I offer, or to take private lessons with me, you can go to my website at mrspeseltutor.com, or you can click on this link. Subscribe to my YouTube channel over here, click down here to see the playlist with all of the stories at this level, and click over here to see my newest video. Have a wonderful day. I will see you next time.